Hi, I'm Jacques from Hobie, and this is our quick start video for Mirage Kayaks. We're going to cover things like uh, proper use of the rudder, installing your seat, how to adjust and install your Mirage drive. Uh, this will uh, apply to all of our Mirage Kayaks, all our the Sport, Revolutions, all the different size Revolutions, Outback, and our Tandem Oasis and Outfitter models. So all Hobie Mirage Kayaks ship complete with uh, things like your paddle, your rudder, the seat back, the Mirage Drive. Uh, they're pretty much ready to go out of the box. Some models have a Lowrance Ready feature, in which case you'll receive these grommets here to more easily install your fish finder. And uh, some scupper plugs, those come in handy if uh, you're gonna have a lot of weight in the boat and you're trying to keep the water from coming in. And lastly, you're gonna get a owner's packet, which is gonna include an owner's manual. The manual is uh, very informative. You're gonna wanna read that front to back. You'll get a warranty registration card, You'll even get a parts and accessories catalog. Um, you'll find everything in here from uh, safety equipment, fishing gear, um, even a sail kit so you can turn your kayak into a sailboat. Really nice uh, catalog. All of this information, uh, if you've bought the boat secondhand and you didn't receive the paperwork, it's all available online, hobiecat.com. You'll want to look at the product support link and that's where you'll find all this information. The seat back ships from Hobie partially assembled. You're going to have to complete the assembly by simply installing two screws at the pivot point here. Uh, the screws are provided. Uh, likely the dealer will already have installed this for you. And uh, once it's together, you'll never have to take it apart because it just pivots here. And, um, it's shipped in two parts to pack down more easily for shipping. So to attach your seat back to your kayak, uh, you're just going to place it into position with the back all the way down. And the front will just be resting on this bar that goes across the front. And what you do is you lift up in the back and you push down in the front at the same time and then check to see that it's locked. Once you've got the seat in place, very important aspect here is to install the secure lock in the back and make sure that you hear that click so that it's definitely locked in place and that'll keep it from falling out of your boat in the event of a capsize. So for 2016, the red clip and button has been replaced with a buckle system. You just attach it like that and it does the same job. This system is available as a free upgrade for anybody who has a 2015 model kayak. This is our Vantage CT chair and it's got a lot of adjustment built in, but I like to suggest that everybody starts in the low position uh, initially, and then you can do things like raise up the chair uh, as, as you go. So your Vantage chair has a lot of adjustability. Uh, the one thing that you're going to wind up using the most, likely, is the, the seat back adjustment. And you just pull that lever. So you can reach behind your back, pull that lever, and lean back. And again, you just unweight yourself and pull the lever, and it's going to come back up as well. Uh, the second thing is down below, you've got an adjustment for your lumbar. This is a BOA um, adjuster and you just click that until you get comfortable on your lower back. The chair is going to break in after you use it a few times and it'll get really comfortable for you. Most Hobie kayaks ship with barrage drives which are completely assembled. There are a couple of models where you might need to install the crank arms. Here's how you do that. Uh, this is only when we initially ship the boat. Once you've assembled your, your Mirage Drive, these can just stay in place. You won't be taking these out. So the way you install that is you just get the crank arm in, you align the pin, and then you're ready to go with your, your bolt. And these will be threading into the plastic drum. You'll need a 9 16 wrench, like so, or a socket, or if you're in Europe or say Australia or somewhere that has metric, a 15 millimeter is what you'll be using to get that tight. And when you're getting to be tight, you want to just make sure that you've got a little bit of a space there. You don't want it to be over tight because it's essential that the crank arms still be able to move. And it is possible to over tighten this, which will interfere with the function of the adjustment on the pedals. So now we'll install our Mirage drive. You'll want to make sure that the, the hard part of the fin is facing forward. And you just drop it in through the well. You can do this on the beach by putting the kayak on its side or if you're in the water already, you can just stick it straight down. Once these click into place, you're, you're all ready to go. You've got your adjustment here, so if you're uh, you know, a child, uh, has short legs, you're going to want to move them back. If you're taller, 
you can come forward and you're going to want to always have these numbers match so that you've got equal pedaling. And lastly, you'll uh, attach your bungee here that's in the cockpit to pull one crank arm back and one forward. And what that does is keeps the fins up against the bottom of the boat so you can have this right up on the sand or when you're coming in for a landing off, off the water. Your kayak has a rudder and the way you operate that is uh, to deploy the rudder down, you'll pull this handle. And once you hear that down, this is really important. You'll always want to cleat it in the cleat that's in the cockpit here. Uh, on tandem kayaks, you're going to have two of everything. So you have two down lines, two up lines, and two handles. Um, so whenever you're coming back to the beach, you'll release that, you'll pull the up line, and the rudder will be back up on the deck, and your steering is right here. Next, you're going to assemble your paddle. The paddles come with a drip ring. When you want to have the scoop facing towards the paddle blade, you just slide that down the shaft. That's going to keep you from getting dripped on uh, if you use your paddle. Most of the times you're going to be using the Mirage Drive, but you always want to take a paddle out with you. And just install that on the paddle holder on the side of your kayak. All Hobie kayaks come with hatches, and here's our 8-inch twist and seal. You hear it's got instructions right on the lid, tells you how to open it, and you basically just twist the handle, and it'll pivot up on a hinge. That's nice because you can't lose the lid. There's also an O-ring here so that the hatch makes a really nice seal. The boats come with a gear bucket, which you can drop in like so. And you'll always want to keep your hatches closed when you're on the water so you don't take water inside the hull. So at the stern of the kayak, you'll find your drain plug. That's where you can get rid of any water that's in your hull. And you'll want to have those tight when you're on the water, uh, but just finger tight. There is an O-ring. The boats will have carrying handles front and rear. In your cargo area, there'll be some bungees so you can land your things down. Uh, you'll want to maybe use a dry bag to keep your belongings dry. Uh, you'll have scuppers because all of our kayaks are set on top. So these scuppers here are designed to, to use the cart to get the boat to and, and from the water. Um, there'll also be some molded in rod holders. Most of the kayaks will have uh, rod holders in the back. Some of them have them in the front. And that's your quick start video. If you have any further questions, check our website, hobiecat.com, and look at the product support section or call your dealer. Have a great time and see you on the water.